I'm sweating so much right now. And um, my hair, it don't look good. But we're gonna do a bookshelf tour because I just rearranged my whole shelf. I'm moving my head to cover the dent that's in my wall. Starting all the way at the bottom, we have Again But Better. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. This is actually signed. The author came to my school and had a little chat with us about her book. I was so embarrassed when I gave this to her to sign because look at the condition it's in. I found this in the Lost and Found in my middle school. I used to go like every month because at the end of the month they would throw out all the books. I used to go and I used to take them all because like who will love them if not I because they just throw them into the dumpster. And I was like, I'm so sorry. And she was like, it's well loved. And I was like, Mm -hmm. Next, I have The Tragedy Paper by Elizabeth LeBond. This book is also signed. The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. And then I have Night by Ellie Wiesel, which is one of my favorite books and I will be rereading very soon. And The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. The next shelf is my play collection, which is very fun. We have The Hobbit, which is not a play, but I had to display this. It's gorgeous. Twelfth Night, Macbeth, which is my favorite Shakespeare play and probably my favorite play of all time. Bad Juice by Joshua Harmon, which is one of my favorite contemporary plays. If you haven't read it. Read it. It's so amazing. Proofs by David Auburn. Also a really, really good play. Eurydice by Sarah Rule. Peter and the Starcatcher by Rick Elise. This is one of my favorite contemporaries. Next I have a monologue book. I tab some ones that I liked. That's more of a reference book, obviously. And then Our Town, which I was actually in my freshman year of high school, so this is my script. Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare, which I love. Inherit the Wind by Jerome Lawrence and Robert E. Lee. And Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. Um, I have really mixed feelings about Romeo and Juliet. I go back and forth and back and forth, but it's nice to have a copy of it for reference. Next, I didn't actually know where to put these and I wasn't going to include them on this shelf. I needed something to fill up the space. What I did when I organized this shelf was these are all the books that I have completed and I want to display. I have another shelf that's across the room that holds all the books that I am planning on rereading or like the beginning of the series and now I'm finishing the end of the series. So for example, the Throne of Glass series, I have I haven't read the last two or three books, but I'm planning on rereading the whole thing. All of the books displayed here are either standalones, completed series, like they're 100% done, I'm not rereading them anytime soon, or like these three. I'm actually currently reading the fourth one, which is why it's not on the shelf right now, but there's only one book left that's coming out, so I thought I'll just add it to it when I get it. Anyway, this shelf is The Hidden Oracle, The Dark Prophecy, which oh my gosh, this cover is so ugly. The first one is so pretty, the third one is so pretty, and then the second and the fourth ones are so ugly. I don't know who chose to do this. Look at this and then look at that. No thank you. And then we have The Burning Maze. Moving up we have A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. And I Darken by Kirsten White. Now I Rise by Kirsten White. Bright We Burn by Kirsten White. These covers are gorgeous. Look at them. This cover looks really really crappy on camera but in person it looks so good. It's so vibrant and I love pomegranates so I really vibe with this one. Next we have a shelf that is mostly contemporaries with one exception because I like the colors so I'm gonna do what I want because it's my bookshelf. Turtles of the Way Down by John Green. The Girls by Emma Klein. I feel like some booktubers are so aesthetic and some are so funny and then there's just me with like a giant dent in my wall. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. You can probably tell this is the book that doesn't really fit with the theme of the shelf. It's a classic but I was gonna do like a classic shelf but a lot of my classics are really ugly this is like the only one that actually has a pretty cover and last week perks being a wallflower by Stephen Chbosky and then this shelf you can probably already see what's on here Twilight by Stephanie Meyer this book will not be on the shelf once the series is over but I just kind of needed a place to put it for now The Hunger Games Catching Fire and Mockingjay next I have the Infernal Devices series which regardless of what you think about Cassandra Clare these books are so good oh my gosh they had me sobbing when I finished them Clockwork Angel Clockwork Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. I love the cover of this one and if I can find a place to display it, I will because I just think it's gorgeous and it has Tessa and she's my fave. People don't like her and they say she's bland and like you're not wrong but also um, I love her so feel free to come for me in the comments. Next, the rest of Rick Riordan books. First up here, I have the Percy Jackson Greek God. I have the Greek Heroes one, which I bought in the huge, what are they called? Coffee table books, picture book, whatever that thing's called. The really, really large edition, but it's currently not here. When I bought it originally, I really bought the large one so I could see the illustrations better because I think they're gorgeous, but I kind of wish I had gotten it in this tiny size now so I could keep it on my shelf. Then I have the Magnus 
Chase books. Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer, that's the first one. The Hammer of Thor and the Ship of the Dead. And then the top shelf here, which you can't even see the top. The Lightning Thief, the Sea of Monsters, the Titan's Curse, Battle of the Labyrinth, the Last Olympian, and then this one, Son of Neptune, which uh, I hated this, but I like the cover because it has Percy. People get really creeped out when people online say like, Percy Jackson is my boyfriend, but Percy Jackson is literally my age. We're the exact same age. So I don't think it's weird to say that Percy Jackson is like my book boyfriend because when other people say it, usually they're in their like 30s or mid 20s, but he is legitimately my age. We're the exact same age. I think he's so attractive, but if that makes you uncomfortable, feel free to come for me. I honestly don't care at this point. The Mark of Athena, House of Hades, also love this cover. And then, um, her. I'm gonna be real with you. I had taken these off the shelf and was gonna put them somewhere else because I didn't really care about them, but I actually really like the covers and I didn't have another spot for them. That's kind of the only reason they're here, but I actually don't remember that much that goes on in these. I was in like elementary school and middle school when these came out. Like I used to order them from the Scholastic Book Fair catalog and I've only read them once, so it's been a while and I really don't remember that much that occurs. But these, however, I have read read many times. I actually used to have the CD audiobook when CD audiobooks were like a you know a big trendy thing because they were very new of the first and third book and I used to listen to them every single night before I went to sleep. I would alternate like every month listening to a different one. It got to the point where I had the whole first and third book memorized and now I can read the first four chapters in my head because I still know it. It's just like ingrained in my brain at this point. Wait, I missed a shelf. Oh my goodness, hold on. First we have Little Women with this ugly, ugly cover, but it's my favorite book, so love her. Next we have The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston, which I love this cover, and as you can see, I had a good time reading it. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, which is one of my favorite books but this cover is absolutely atrocious. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak which is also one of my favorite books. The Kite Runner by Colette Hussaini. I just featured this in my last video, my wrap-up video, but so good. And then Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. I was going to reread this and I decided not to, but fun fact, this book kind of a little bit inspired the name of this channel because I had just finished reading this when I made this channel. So that is my bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, send this video to a friend, do whatever you want with it. I am gonna go get some coffee. Thank you!